Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2. In this episode we'll be looking at planning a diorama build. There are many excellent books on this subject. Again, my method is not the method, but it is a method that works very well for me and I thought to share it with you. Any diorama build, especially a very big one, can be a complex undertaking, so it is essential that you plan this properly. I go through six basic steps. First is to select a theme, whether it's military, sci-fi, space, or whether you're building a scene from civilian life, cars, motorcycles, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you have a good idea of what it is that you're planning and exactly what it is that you want to do. Closely related to this is to visualize your completed diorama. Mentally, you have to see the entire diorama before you glue any plastic together. You also have to select kits and visual elements that will form part of your completed diorama. The build I'm currently working on is a big one and it includes a number of elements and a number of kits. Um, I'm planning a scene from rural Vietnam during the war. Uh, it's a troop transport. It will include an M54 truck with US troops and also a Jeep with two MPs, an M2 gunner and a number of rural Vietnamese farmers. I'll have to build a rice paddy, a raised road surface and of course then there will be buffaloes as well as the foliage I'll have to build. There'll have to be a rice paddy, perhaps some tree stumps along the road. I'll have to keep in mind a muddy road surface. I'll have to make some water effects for the rice paddy itself. So these are all things I need to keep in mind when building this. And if I follow these steps that I just outlined, it will help me to approach this in a planned fashion. Make sure to collect and organize visual references for your build. During the course of a build, I sometimes collect hundreds of pictures online. And it's important that you keep track of these and store them. I also keep these pictures available on my desk on a tablet so I can easily look up a uniform color or a small detail on a vehicle uh, while I'm working. The internet is a wonderful source of information when it comes to historical photographs and all sorts of other information that we as scale modelers use. But also keep in mind books and especially also people. I'm very fortunate to have hobby friends from around the world who are either military veterans or who are active duty. And I can ask them, what sort of personal equipment did you use? How did you have your personal equipment set up? Uh, what sort of vehicles did you use when you were deployed? Sometimes even tactical questions. How would you move in circumstances such as this or that? All this information is very useful when you want to put together a very realistic diorama. The final step is to plan it all on paper. Drawing your diorama will give you a bird's eye view and help you to position different elements in a way that will make sense. This step will also help you to identify problems early on. Guys, so that is my approach to building dioramas, to planning them. I'll be posting updates here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram. So subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and uh, I'll see you during the next episode.